Dave Campbell's Texas Football here at the DFW Coaches Clinic in Grapevine here with Mayor Dallas, I guess? <laughs> The head, of head coach of Wilmer Hutchins Wildcats, Coach LZ Barnett. Coach, how are you? I'm good. How's the offseason been? So offseason's going great. Boys in track, uh, some of them in basketball, some going to baseball, and then the rest of them are doing offseason football. Okay, how's an offseason football? You know, let's let's talk a little bit about last year. I know yeah. you maybe prefer not to, but you know, a, 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 a disappointing year, I think, by at least by Hutch standards. You know, oh, what I mean, the standards yeah. have been so high. That is a step back. So how do you how do you evaluate what happened last year? It was extremely disappointing. Just a lot of youth mm -hmm. inexperience at the major positions, the quarterback, running back. Uh, but you know, with what we're doing right now, we'll bounce back. Mm -hmm. We'll yeah. definitely be back. There's there's no doubt about that. And, and, and one of the reasons is you know you mentioned how young you guys were. Um, Seems like do you, how many? I'll just ask you. I'll, I'll get your questionnaire in, in the fall in, in the spring. But but how many starters are you guys going to have coming back? It's got to be. We'll be loaded on both sides of the ball. Uh, we we still have to answer that question at quarterback, but for the most part, everyone else is coming back. And the most important piece is, you know, up front, the offensive and defensive line, we're bringing all those guys back. Coach Barnett's an offensive line with you guys, so that's why we get along. Uh, did you see over the course, I know it didn't necessarily manifest in the wind column, but did you see that growth? of those youngsters, of those guys who are going to be key part, parts of your 2022 season as the season went on. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially in that first-round playoff game with Argyle, you could see how the kids had, you know, how they had matriculated and developed into what we think they could be, the, mm -hmm. the potential. Because, uh, you know, Argyle going to test you on all sides, mm -hmm. front, back, side to side, doesn't matter to them, the Argyle Eagles. But those guys stood up to the test. And, I mean, they did a, they did a pretty good job for their, you know, for the level of experience they had. Right. And it strikes me that playing teams like that, right, playing teams that are, are playing deep in the playoffs, they're now going to be moving up to 5A, you know, that that's going to end up making you guys better and, and, and helping you guys into 2022 and beyond. You know, the one, one thing that we've never done was shy away from any opponent. You know, we used to play South Oak Cliff, non district. Uh, we've played Waco, uh, I mean, uh, not Waco, La Vega in the playoffs, but we've played, um, you know, Frisco, Wakeland, non district. Mm -hmm. So, our kids have to play those type of cali play those caliber teams in order for us to really get a true measurement of them, because you know the playing field isn't isn't leveled all the way across the board in the inner city. Yeah. You know, and having an inner city program, you have to find ways to get your kids and push them and test them, so you'll actually know what you have when you're getting ready for district play. Well, and, and you brought it up. Uh, you know, the, the coaching the inner city is, it has comes with its own uh, challenges. Uh, when you see a team like South Oak Cliff do what they did and win a state championship, you know, I can only speak from where I sit. From your perspective, does that does that you know provide hope? Does that, does that rally you guys? Be like, got, give you give you something to show your kids? Be like, we can got, we can go and do this, guys. You know, Jason does a great job over there at South Oak Cliff, and I was very flattered that he would even play me. Mm -hmm. You know, those couple of years that we played, considering the caliber of program that he has. But our kids know that if my next door neighbor can do it, mm -hmm. then why can't I do it? And so if, even from the coaching from the coaching carousel, so, you know, my guys, that's some of those guys been at several different schools and in, in, uh, high schools in DISD, they know now that, hey, I can bring a little bit more to the table. So, so that, that run that South Oak Cliff had was extremely inspiring for all of us. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to ask you, you know, I asked you to do this interview and you you balked at first and you said, <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that interview. Uh, how do you think this interview went? You know, I. You calm me down, Greg. You know that I've been around. I've known you forever. So hanging out with you is like being in a backyard barbecue. The only piece we're missing is Aaron. If we had Aaron here, man, we it'd be a oh, full show. Dude. If we had, well, if we had Aaron, we'd never get a word in. Right, you know, that's right, the problem. Right, there. right. Coach, we're excited to see you again. We're excited to see what your Eagles do. We're Thank you, Greg. Appreciate you. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out TexasFootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.